friends and welcome back to the Move Me Kitchen. I'm Natasha. And I'm Luca. And tonight we're making a warm pasta salad with a bit of a difference. And the difference is pumpkin. Something that you wouldn't ordinarily think of putting in a pasta salad, but we have done this before and it turns out really, really yummy. So we wanted to share this with you tonight. Just quickly, we'll show you the ingredients. Uh, we have our organic corn pasta as usual. We're using spiral pasta tonight. And we'll have some um, baby spinach leaves, a couple of tomatoes, red capsicum, some corn. Again, I'm going to take this off the cobs as you've seen me do in previous um, videos, but you can buy the frozen corn just as we've bought the frozen peas, so we'll put some of them in. Baby peas for extra sweetness. That's right, they're really good. Um, some olives, a little bit of red onion, some parsley at the end, and I'll also use the organic um, Italian herbs for seasoning. Some little beans that uh, the local farm around here gave us a handful of. So there's some nice organic beans, we'll pop them in too. Pretty simple, um, shouldn't take too long at all. Probably the longest part of this meal preparation is cutting up the pumpkin. Um, but once this beautiful organic pumpkin is cut up and we start steaming it, everything else is really, really quick. So I'll get chopping and I'll see you soon. Our ingredients have all been chopped up. You can have a look here. I've got the um, peas just soaking in some hot water. The corn has been taken off the cob and everything else just chopped up nice and small for our warm pasta salad. <laughs> Lovely colours. So with the pumpkin, what we did is we cut this up nice and small so that it would cook really quickly. So we just steamed the pumpkin really easy. You can see how small, I'll buy the steam out the way, hmm. see how small those pieces are. So that took no time at all. This is a really quick dish. And then all you have to do is just mush it up with a fork. That easy. So we steamed this pumpkin um, a lot longer than you normally would. We wanted it really, really mushy because you'll see when we put it through the pasta, it's just going to stir through really nicely. If you don't steam it for quite as long, um, it just won't be as soft stirring through the pasta so that's why we did that so I wanted to mention that um, pasta salads is one of our favorite dishes to make and many many years ago when we still ate meat and attended barbecues this would be my dish to bring um, the family and friends loved my pasta salads but back in those days I would make them with um, prosciutto ham and mozzarella cheese. And what else did we put in there, Luca? I feel like there were more, lots of oil. Um, lots of salt. Lots of salt, and also, that's right, we'd buy marinated mushrooms and capsicum from the deli, so lots of oil. And then I would drizzle oil in again and put lots of salt, and I would melt the mozzarella cheese so it was all stringy. And it was just basically a really big pasta dish of fat and death. <laughs> it was really unhealthy. Um, Good one for creating diabetes actually. Exactly. With the, uh, the carbs in the pasta and then all of that fat in the oil and the prosciutto and the cheese. Spot on. So right now what we're making is a really healthy pasta salad. This is low fat. You can see there's no oil being used in this dish. But we're just using the natural flavours of the vegetables to flavour this dish. And this is going to be a warm pasta salad because it's a little bit chilly and it's night time and it's a warm dinner that we're wanting tonight. But you can definitely make it a cold regular pasta salad and you just basically leave it out to cool down a little bit more and you can bring that to a, to a barbecue lunch or a picnic or whatever you're going to as a healthier alternative. And the other thing is, of course, we want to always be cautious of... Uh, the use of animal foods in our diet, not only for our own health, but of course for the animals. So we want a compassionate diet, a kind diet, a cruelty-free diet, and you'll see that this is just so easy and so delicious that there's really no need to add the cheese and to add the prosciutto the way I used to. Um, so I just 
felt like it's always important to mention that and to keep that in mind. And also, you know, we don't want to cause harm to ourselves and to our loved ones, to our families. You know, we don't want to feed them um, foods that are going to make them sick. So it's about being compassionate to animals and compassionate to ourselves and to our friends and families who we're cooking for. So that's why we eat cruelty-free and low-fat, and it's just such a beautiful way to eat and live. So, enough of my talking. There you can see the pumpkin is all mushed up. To the pumpkin, we added the herbs, the Italian herbs, and I also put a pinch of cayenne and a tiny pinch of salt, because pumpkin it can be quite watery. So I've stirred this through the pumpkin and the reason I did that is because it's going to make for a more even distribution of the herbs. Um, so now what we're going to do is put a little bit of this in the bottom of a bigger pot because we've got a kilo of pasta to stir through. So we need the bigger pot. I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom just to help lubricate. Oh, it's, so good. it's good, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Um, this will help lubricate the pot and the pasta so it's going to stir through a lot easier. And the other thing you want to be cautious of is we don't want to stir the pasta too much because it's going to start breaking up. So that's another reason why I put the, um, the spices in the pumpkin so that they're already distributed and then we don't have to stir the pasta too much so it doesn't all break up and turn into a big clump of little bits. So. <coughs> That should help. That's a little technique. All right. <laughs> this is so much faster. I'm just going to put this in. So pasta in. And then we can put the rest of the pumpkin. Peas and corn are in together. And basically, ooh, you just pop all your chopped up bits and pieces. They say people eat with their eyes, <laughs> which is wonderful because cooking plant foods is so colourful. It's easy, easy to get people interested, especially kids who love colour. Oh my gosh, there's more. <laughs> we need a bigger pot again. <laughs> Jeez. Is that? Oh gosh. A few tomatoes. And some baby spinach. We well, definitely need a bigger pot. <laughs> I'm going to stir this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to keep stirring this through. I'm going to show you the end result. And the end result, <laughs> after all that stirring, beautiful. So colourful and the taste is sweet because the pumpkin is sweet, the corn is sweet, the peas are sweet, um, the capsicum is sweet. So there's a, a sweetness basically to this salad rather than a heavy fatty um, film that will be left in the mouth if you were to use oil and, and animal products and even avocado. We've done this with avocado and yeah it's okay. but. Um, we prefer to use something like pumpkin to help lubricate the pasta so it stirs through really nicely. Um, and it wasn't so bad. The problem was because it's a small pot and we had a kilo of pasta in here, but if you're doing a smaller quantity then it'll be fine. The stirring through is really easy with the pumpkin to help lubricate. So that is dinner tonight. Yum! And hope you enjoyed. Please um, let us know what you think. Try it out. We'd love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this video, give it the thumbs up. Um, please post any comments or questions down below and if you haven't already would love you to subscribe to our channel and also to our website movemeyoga.com.au for more updates on all the things we're doing around town and more recipes and blogs and a lot of stuff that we're up to. Thanks for watching and see you next time.